Hi all, welcome back. So today our topic is previous year questions of reasoning. Okay, so we are going to discuss some of the important 10 previous year questions from the topic reasoning. Okay, so let's start our discussion. Question number one. Question number one, which number will best complete the relationship given below? Okay, so we have given 13 and 38. So there is a relationship between 13 and 38. Okay, so the next number is 17 and we have to find the fourth number so that it follows the same relationship that followed by 13 and 38. Is it clear? So there is a relationship among 13 and 38. Okay, so the this set of numbers should follow the same relationship as that of 13 and 38 clear so let us find out what is the relationship between 13 and 38 okay so so what is 13 into 3 13 into 3 is 39 right so 39 minus 1 is 38 okay so they have done 13 into 3 minus 1 okay like that let us do for 17 also that is a second set also so 17 into 3 is 51 okay so 51 minus 1 is 50 so our option a is our correct answer okay so this type the relationship followed here is into 3 minus 1 okay so 13 into 3 is 39 minus 1 is 38 like that 17 into 3 is 51 minus 1 is 50 so our answer is option a 50 okay so next question in this question, question number two, in this question, two statements are given followed by two conclusions. Choose the conclusion which best fit logically. Okay. So, we have given two statements and two conclusions. Okay. And the options. Okay. So, we have to find the best or the true conclusion that is for, for, for this given two statements. Okay. So, our statements are no car is ball. So, no car is a ball okay so this is car this is ball okay so no car is ball is we have to do a cross sign that is no car is ball okay no ball is stable no ball is stable again no ball is stable and the relationship among c and t are unknown okay so we don't know the relationship among c and t but among c and b there is no connection we know there is no connection that is no car is no no, no car is a ball and also no ball is a table. Okay, so there is no connection among C, B and B, T. But we don't know the relationship among C and T. Okay, it is unknown relation. So, let us move to the conclusion. What is the conclusion? Conclusion number one, no car is stable. No car is stable. That is, we don't know about the relationship among C and T. It may be, it may contain, the, the car may contain the table or the table may contain the car but we don't know about the real situation that is this conclusion is indefinite okay indefined okay undefined and all okay so the no car is a table is undefined okay it is not definite okay so we don't know about that so first conclusion we don't know what about the second conclusion all tables are car that is also we don't know because we don't know the relationship among c and t so it may or may not contain each other okay so no car is stable we don't know about that all tables are car again we don't know about their relationship so second one is also unknown okay so cross and cross first is cross unknown second is also cross unknown so our options are only conclusion one follows no it is not our con uh, option. Both conclusion 1 and 2 follows. No, it is wrong. Neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 follows. Yes, this is our answer. Neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 follows. Okay, so, so option C is our correct answer. Is that clear? So next question, question number 3. In a certain code language, K, E, W, X, A, S, H, U, M, A, D E K O. So this is a certain code language means she is eating apple. Okay. And this code means she sells toys. And this code language means I like apples. Which word in that language means she and apple. So in order to find this we have to 
get the code language for she and apple right so let us consider the uh, the sentence or the code language that having she okay so the code languages that is having she is one and two okay these two code languages or these two sentences contain she okay so and the third third statement or the third code language it has i like apples okay so the first and the third contains apples okay so she is contained in first and second statement and apples are there in first that is she is eating apples so first and i like apples third statement right so first and third statement okay so our our question is we have to find the code language for she and apples okay so she sells to, let us consider first and second statement so this is a second and this is a first one okay she is eating apples she sells toys the common word is she okay so now let us consider the code language what is the code language code language is this this is first code language this is second code language right so what is a common word in this code language it is k e w right k e w okay so this first and second say statement contains she as the common word right she is eating apple she sells toys so common word is she okay and its corresponding code language will always contains a that single common code word that is corresponding to she is it clear so this is this having a certain code language that is she is eating apples have the code language that is first code code language and the second statement is she sells toys it also have a certain code language okay in a in these two we have she as common right so also correspondingly the code language is also having the common words known as k e w so the corresponding code language for she will be k e w so it may be option a or it may be option b okay or it may be option c but she is uh, but c is not uh, that much uh, apt for for it because our question is we have to find the code language meaning for she and apple first is she so here k w is appeared second so it won't be our answer okay so either option a or option b will be our answer okay so next is we have to find the code language for apple so here we have i like apples okay i like apples here we have she is eating apples so the code language of these two statements contains a single common code language called apple since these two contains a single i mean common word apples right she is eating apples we have apples okay i like apples we have apples so common word is apple so let us consider the corresponding code language there also there will be a common word for the for the uh, uh, word corresponding to apples right so let me clear this so so that you can, you, you will be able to understand clearly okay wait so let us consider first and third statement to get the apples code word okay so she is eating apples and i like apples so what is the code word code language for i like apples it is s u l l i m d e k o okay she is eating apples the code language is this so common word is apple and considering these two code languages what is the common word here d e k o right so the apples corresponding code language is d e k o so our option is option b okay so our answer is k e w for she and for apples it is d e k o so the answer is option b k e w and d e k o is the code language for she and apples okay is it clear so our question is we have to find the code language for she and apple so let us consider the sentences that is commonly having she and the sentences that is commonly having apple so that we will get the corresponding code language that have the common code word right so next question question number 4
find the odd one out from the given options okay so we have option a 25 81 option b 36 100 option c 70 i mean 16 64 option d 49 169 okay so by by seeing this we can uh, we can uh, fi uh, find out that these numbers are the squares of some number right so what is the square of uh, square root of 25 it is 5 5 what is the square root of 81 it is 9 right so option a option b it is 6 and 10 option c it is 4 and 8 option d it is 7 and 13 169 is a square root of square of 13 so what is the difference between 5 and 9 difference between 5 and 9 is 4 okay so the difference between 6 and 10 is again 4 the difference between 4 and 8 is again 4 what is the difference between 7 and 13 it is 6 right so what is the odd one out from the given options it is option d option d is our correct answer that is the difference between the square root of 49 and 169 is 7 minus 13 is equal to 6 so option d is our odd one out is it clear so next question question number five choose the pair which shows the same relationship as in the pair given below so we have a pair of words okay so earth and sun earth and sun having certain relationship so what is the relationship among earth and sun earth is a planet that is revolving around sun okay so we have to find the perfect option that follows the same relationship as that of sun and earth okay so option a is cosmos and space what is the relationship cosmos and space are almost similar okay so cosmos is a closed area whereas the space is an open area that is the only difference okay so that is not our answer okay so option b moon and earth moon is the natural satellite of earth that is revolving around the earth okay so that follows the same relationship as that of earth and sun okay so our answer is option b moon and earth okay so what about option c sun and galaxy in galaxy the small part is a sun okay there are lakhs of sun in our galaxy okay so not in our galaxy in a galaxy in a word galaxy there are so many stars suns and so many celestial objects okay so one one among them is sun okay so sun is not revolving around or a galaxy is not revolving around the sun so option c is not our option correct answer okay so next is option d mars and jupiter so mars and jupiter both of them are planets okay so they are not having a same relationship that of earth and sun so our correct answer that follows the exact relationship of earth and sun is option b moon and earth okay since moon is revolving around the earth okay so next question question number six so question number six a boy starts from his home northward in, in order to go to a hotel he took right turn and then took left to reach the hotel which direction is the hotel facing so our question is a boy starts from his home northward so here it is given as his home is in the northward direction okay so before starting the question we have to mark the four directions that is north south west and east okay so in question never question is a boy starts from his home northward in order to go to a hotel so we have to consider this is his home okay the boy start from starts from his home northward in order to go to the hotel okay so his home is here northward north direction okay he took right turn and then took left to reach the hotel first he have took right turn so his right turn is this so he is starting from the home okay so he is walking 
towards the south direction first okay he is starting from the home towards northward and he is moving in this direction okay he took right turn first so this is his right turn this is his right okay so when somebody is facing south okay so this is his left left direction and this is his right direction so he initially moved to the right direction okay right turn and then he took the left to reach the hotel okay then he this is the one who is facing west so this is his left direction and this is the right direction so our question is after turning the right direction he took the left to reach the hotel so left direction to reach the hotel it is the hotel okay so at which direction is the hotel facing the hotel is facing to the south direction that is option a is our correct answer is that clear that is a boy starts from his home northward okay so he is starting from his home that is situated the northward direction towards the south okay he took right turn he took right turn so uh, if he doesn't consider the boy to be moved forward also we will get the correct answer that is let us consider the direction diagram like this that is north south west and east okay the boy's home is in northward direction okay then first he took a right turn okay so this is his home okay so the one who is facing south direction this is the right and this is the left direction right so for the one who is facing to the south direction this is his right and this is his left okay so first he took a right turn right so he first took a right turn and then took a left to reach the hotel okay now the hotel is here and it is facing to the south direction okay so this is turning to the right and this is turning to the left and our hotel is arrived this is his home and this is the hotel so the hotel is facing to the south direction is it clear so moving on to the next question question number Question number 7 in a row of 21 children facing north Nidin is third to the right of Sita who is ninth from the right end of the row what is Nidin's position from the left end is our question so there are 21 students right so there are 21 students there are 21 students okay so this is 21 20 20 19 18 etc up to 1 okay so nidin is third to the right of sida who is nine from the right end of the row so we have right and right we are considering the right end only so this is left end and this is right end okay so at the right end it is a first child and at the left end it is the 21st child okay so we have to consider the position of nidin okay so nidin is third to the right of sida who is nine to the right end of the row so who is indicating sida here who is ninth from the right end of the row so in our question there are two right ends okay so if it is right and right we have to different take the subtraction or we have to take the difference of both the positions okay so 9 right and 3 right difference is 6 right so nidin's position from the right end is 6 is it clear so nidin's positions from the right end is 6 because see the nidin is third to the right of see the that is third to the right of see the who is ninth ninth end from the right end of the row or we can draw the figure and find out so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 etc okay so nidin is third to the right side of sita who is nine from the right end of the row so here is sita okay nidin is third to the right of sita so it is 1 2 3 here is nidin is in clear so nidin is in sixth position and sida is in ninth position so let us we can uh, find the answer by drawing the 
lines and all in a, this is a traditional methods or we can do the subtraction method right so here they are given the information in which there are three there are two rights right so that is nidhin is third to the right of the sita sita is nine from the right end of the row so they are both right end so right right okay so if it is left left we have to minus it okay if it is right and left we have to add if it is left and right we have to add here we have both right end considering the direction as right end so we have to subtract that and 9r minus 3r is equal to 6r is the position of nidin or we can draw the figure and clear it like this okay so sixth position is nidin and ninth position is sita what is our question our question is what is the nidin's positions from the left end what is the nidin's positions from the left end okay so we have 21 children we have 21 children nidin's positions from the right end is 6 okay so so for that we have to subtract 5 children from the left right end of the row okay the nidin's position is sixth position from the right hand side so this is nidin's position this is nidin's position it is sixth position okay so what is the nidin's position from the right left hand side there are 21 children so 21 children are there 21 children are there so 21 minus this 5 is the nidin's position 21 minus 5 is 16 so 16th position is the nidin's position is it clear is it clear so nidin's position is sixth from the right hand side okay so nidin's position is sixth from the right hand side there are 21 students are there okay 21 children are there so 21 minus 5 21 minus 5 is this position that is 16th 21 minus 5 is 16 okay so 16th from the left end and sixth from the right end is it clear since this is given as right and right on uh, the question that is nidin, nidin is third to the right of sita who is nine from the right end of the row there are two right so we have to subtract it so six r six right is the nidin's position okay for finding the position at from the left hand side it is 21 minus 5 that is 16th is the position of the nidin from the left side is it clear so next question question number eight in this question three statements are given followed by three conclusions choose the conclusion which best fit logically okay so our statements are some houses are chairs okay all houses are windows that is our third statement all houses are windows all windows are doors okay so this is the diagram for the statements given in the question that is some houses are chairs okay all houses are windows and all windows are doors okay so our conclusions are some doors are windows some doors are windows correct is it real? so all windows are doors okay so that implies some doors are windows so conclusion one follows what is conclusion two some chairs are houses some chairs are houses again conclusion two also follows conclusion three some windows are chairs some windows are chair so windows are windows and chairs are merging each other so option three or uh, the conclusion three also follows so our answer is all conclusion follows option a is it clear so statement the venn diagram for the statement is this so uh, some those are windows some chairs are houses some windows are chairs are satisfying because all the figures are all the circles or all the portions are merged to each other so all the conclusion follows and our answer is a all conclusions follows is it clear so next question question number nine a b c d e f g and h are playing a game standing in a circle facing outwards okay so we have to consider a circle that is facing outside a b c d e f g h that is eight members are playing a game standing in a circle facing outward okay c is neither the neighbor of a c is nor the neighbor of g 
D is the neighbor of A, but D is not the neighbor of H. E is the neighbor of H and is third to the right of F. Third to the right of F, E. Okay? E is third to the right of F. B is the neighbor of F and fourth to the left of D. One, sorry, four to the left of D. So here is D. B is the neighbor of F. So this is the data. B is the neighbor of F and B is four to the left of D. One, two, three and B. B is 4 to the left of T. Who among the following stand to the immediate right of G? Who is standing immediate right of G is our question. We have to find this person. Okay. So, we have how many clues that is definite clues. That is defined very clearly. It is this clue and this clue. Okay. We can say this, this, this also. But this is indefinite clues. Okay. That is not the neighbor, not the neighbor is an indefinite clues that we have to consider later. First, we have to consider only the definite clues. Okay. So, first, we have to mark the position of D. Okay. So, 4 to the left of D, it is B. 4 to the left of D. So, this is D's position. What is left of D? This is, this direction is the left of D. Right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, the B is standing. Okay. So, or we can say it as 4 to the right of B. D is there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right of B. D is staying. Okay. So, this conclusion satisfied. Okay. So, next is B and F are neighbors. Okay. So, let us consider F in this position first. Okay. So, next conclusion that is related or that is merged with Fs. Fs E is third to the right of F. Okay. So, if F is here, the E's position will be 1, 2 and 3. This is not possible. Right. So, the neighbor of B, F should be placed in this arrow. Okay. Here, if F is placed, we cannot satisfy this conclusion, this statement or this data. That is, E is third to the right of F. So, 1, 2, 3, we have D. So, this cannot be satisfied. So, F's position, neighbor of B is F, okay. So, F's position is this, that is left to B, okay. So, this conclusion follows and also, sorry, third to the right of F, it is E. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, this conclusion also, this statement is also follows. Okay. So, this one, this one and this one follows. Right. So, what is the next clue? It is E and H are neighbors. E and H are neighbors. But H is not the neighbor of D. So, E and H are neighbors. H is not the neighbor of D. So, we cannot place H here. We have to place H here. Okay. So, this condition follows. This condition also follows. Okay. So, D and A follows. D and A are neighbors. So, D and A are neighbors. D and A are neighbors. Okay. So, C and A are not neighbors. So, C cannot be here. C should be here. Okay. C and A are not neighbors. So, this also satisfied. C and G are not neighbors. So, G is here. C and G are not neighbors here. Okay. So, our question is, who stands to the immediate right of G? Immediate right of G it is F. That is option C. Is it clear? So, for the questions like this, we have to consider and clearly write the data first. And we have to eliminate all the options by placing in the figure. Okay. First, we have to do the definite, definite data that is given in the question then we will move with the indefinite data okay so next question question number 10 our last question seating arrangement okay so 10th question a b c d e f g and h are four married couples sitting in a circle facing center they are facing center so one two three four five six seven 
eight four married couples so four female and four men are there sitting in a circle facing center the professions of the males within the group are so male and female are there four female and four male are there professions of males within the group are lecturer lawyer doctor and an engineer okay among the males d the lawyer so d is lawyer d is the lawyer and h is the engineer h is the engineer are sitting together so d and h are sitting together okay maybe left or right we have to find that okay each man is seated beside his wife okay man so the alternate position men and female are sitting okay each man is seated beside his wife so g is the wife of lecturer okay so g is the wife of lecturer g is the wife of lecturer okay lecturer g is the wife of lecturer is seated second to the right of h so here it is h are seated second to the right of h who g the wife of lecturer is sitting to the second to the right of h and f is seated between g and h so f is this is female this is male okay so f is seated between g and h okay either h f g or g f h okay so these two ways are possible here d h and h t these two are possible okay so next is b the wife of doctor b the wife of doctor okay seated immediate left of the lawyer's wife lawyer's wife lawyer's wife's immediate left is the position of whom b okay so b okay so b the wife of doctor is seated to the immediate left of the lawyer's wife okay b the wife of doctor so b is the wife of doctor b is the wife of doctor who is sitting to the immediate left of the lawyer's wife so circle is indicating female okay so lawyer's wife's immediate left the doctor's wife b b the doctor's wife is seated to the immediate left of the lawyer's wife okay c is not the doctor c is not the doctor that indicates c is the lecturer okay e is male okay so the remaining is doctor that is e e is male e is male c is not the doctor indicating e is doctor and c is lecturer and a is the female so a is a female so a b c d e f is there so a and f will be either lawyer's wife or engineer's wife okay so that we have to find who among the following is the wife of the lawyer so we have to find the wife of the lawyer this is our question is it clear so let us solve the question so let us consider the first clue that is definite clue that is h is g is second to the right of h that is a definite clue here definite data here so at g is second to the right of h so let us consider h is here okay so h is male and he is an engineer so h is male and he is an engineer okay g is standing second to the right of h okay so g's position is this is it clear so h is here and second to the right of h there is g so g is the female and g is the wife of lecturer c okay so the next clue is f is in between g and h okay so this is not possible this is possible right so f is in between g and h so this is f okay so f is all also a female as this also a female okay so f is female right so g is also female so here should be the g's husband who is g's husband it is c lecturer is it clear so we have h 
F G and G's husband C lecturer since C and G are husband and wife okay so that is over so next is this option that is D and H or H and D are neighbors so here D will be there okay so D is a lawyer that is marked here so D is a lawyer and male okay so D's wife will be here D's wife will be here okay so this is lawyer and D's wife will be here right and our next clue is lawyers wife's immediate left is doctor's wife b okay so this is lawyer's wife this circle is lawyer's wife lawyer's wife's immediate left it is b that is doctor's wife okay so this is female who is doctor's i mean who is the husband of b it is doctor that is e okay so e will be here he is a doctor okay so we have a vacant space here that is a right so this is a is it clear so we have four male c d e and h so this is c d e and h okay so this is doctor lecturer engineer and lawyer so corresponding wife will be seated to the corresponding husband okay so h and f are husband wife so we have to mark H and F and husband and wife and D and A are husband and wife, right? So D and A are husband and wife, E and B are husband and wife, and G and C are husband and wife, and H and F are pairs. Okay, so profession also written here. Okay, so E is doctor, C is lecturer, H is engineer, and lawyers, lawyer is D. So D's wife is A, H wife is F, G's wife husband is C. And E's wife is B. Okay, so our question is, who among the following is the wife of lawyer? So wife of lawyer is A. Okay, so option A. A is the wife of lawyer D. Okay, so from the data we have written clearly, we can make the make it to what the correct answer, right? So for this type of question, we have to mark or we have to write the data clearly, so the answer will be easily obtained okay so the question is who among the following is the wife of lawyer so right side of the lawyer it is engineer left side left side of the lawyer it is a who is the wife of lawyer is it clear so a is the wife of lawyer so that's all for today this is an important 10 reasoning previous year questions okay so thank you and have a nice day